Hey guys, so today we're going to be making uh, an origami swan. Uh, it's pretty peaceful. I, I think it can fly. I, I think it can. Let's see. Kinda. So let, let's go see how to make it. Okay, so the only things that you need for this is just paper and scissors if you have any. So well, what I'm gonna do right now is just cut this paper into a square and if you don't know how to do that there's going to be a tag at the top right or the link's going to be in the description down below and uh, let me do this right now okay so now it's a square and uh, the first thing you want to do is do something called the preliminary base fold uh, if you don't know how to do that i'm going to show you how to do it right here first you pull the corners down to each other that that this was already put down because if you watch my video which is again down in the description uh, it comes with the mark right there and uh, you you do this on both sides like that and from here you turn this over and you do this in half this like this okay so on one you have the half like that and on the other you have the diagonally like that so if you're not ready um, just rewind the video and pause it if you need to so this is what we're going to do. So you're going to make sure that this right here is kind of like on a mountain, like that. This is kind of the same thing for the origami Christmas tree video, which I did in uh, for Christmas. It was around like, yeah, Christmas. So you fold this down like this. And that's called a preliminary base fold, like this. So you fold it down like that. That's a preliminary base fold. So then you're going to do something called a petal fold, which is kind of easy. So you fold the top down in half. Not. So you do this like that. You do kind of like the origami Christmas tree. Like this. Then what you're going to do is fold this right down the middle like that, or right down like that. And again on the other side. So then what you're going to do here is un unfold it and then do it the other way around like that. So then you have this right here. First you folded it like this, then you lift that flap again, fold it the other way, and you do it to this one too, right here. Like that. So then you fold up to this mark that you made right here. You fold like that right there. So you hold that down. And you do this kind of like this. Like that. And you do the same thing to this side. And the exact same thing on the back side. So now you have something like this. <clears throat> something like where this, when you unfold it, has a mountain, a triangle like that. And down here, they're just flaps. So now what you're going to do is 
get these parts right here and then you're going to fold this outward like that right about here and that's going to be like your swan <coughs> your your swans um, either your head or its tail. So you do it again on the other side. You're going to do a reverse fold, which pretty much you're going to open this up. And then it should be in between this triangle right here. And then you're going to follow the folds that you just did and then fold this right down the half. So it's going to be your like your tail or your your beak like like that so you do this again on the other side like that okay so this your your wing um, might be off center a bit so you could fix it if you want to if you don't uh, it's perfectly fine with me. You do you. And uh, this is folded upward already. So you could fold it down to the side like this. Flip it over. Do it again. Like that. So now just to do the beak. It, it's very simple. You fold this down at an angle to where you would like your beak to be at and you do it again on the same thing on the other side like that right here and then you do another reverse fold you open this up and you do that so that right there is your finished swan and let's see if it can fly Kind of flies. So you could stand it up, open its legs up like that. Stand it up at your table. Be pretty cool. So, yep. Yeah. Now, the next part. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, you actually got this far. Uh, if you went this far, uh, comment down below, Swan. Uh, and I will see you. And also, I have a piano back here. If you want to hear a song, uh, you could do it. And also, there was uh, this ancient Chinese thing that if you, like, made a hundred of these, like, you had, like, good luck for something. I, I forgot. Uh, I, I don't really know. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Do you guys still like my outro, or should I change it? Uh, tell me in the comments.